A society to have order and to protect its citizens must have rules. Rules or laws are created and agencies are formed to enforce the rules. In the United States, you are innocent until proven guilty. Our judicial system, our courts, have the task of determining guilt. When guilt is found, the courts meet out the consequences. If we follow the rules of our society, we may never have to face the bar of justice inside a criminal courtroom. Join us now as we see an actual Lake County court in session. Okay, could everyone, including visitors, please raise your right hand. Okay, do each of you swear or affirm to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth, and this you do under the pains and penalty of perjury? Yes, Yes, ma'am. All right, you can put your hands down. Each of you has a right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. When you get to the microphone, I need to know if you're under 18. I need to know if you're not a citizen of the United States. If you're not a citizen of the United States, pleading today could affect your immigration status. If you, uh, I need to know if you're on probation or parole, because if you are pleading today, could affect your probation or parole status. If you plead today, you're giving up your right to have a trial and to have an attorney represent you at that trial. If I sentence you today on a criminal case, you need to go down to room 105 and sign up for the payment plan. The least the payment plan can be is $273. If you're charged with a battery, it's closer to $700. That is in addition to whatever we do here in the courtroom. Um, today we're being tape recorded and videotaped. Uh, today is my second arraignment using the computer, so I may not be too quick today. In custodies. All right, next we have Lisa Ann Seagraves Thomas. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, Ms. Seagraves Thomas, you're charged with driving while license suspended. I'm, I'm in custody for loitering. <coughs> for loitering? And um, principal to grand theft, I guess my friend. Okay, so that would be a felony. Um, I was told, no, I'm not 100% sure about this, that the charges were being dropped. Uh, let me start with the driving while license suspended suspended, which is why you're here. Maybe it expired because your license expired or you got an ID card in April. Yes, so you were not allowed to be driving and in addition to that you're suspended for not paying two tickets in Hillsborough County. I thought, that Are you, were, I thought that was the reason why they were suspended the Hillsborough County. Okay, they're suspended for not paying two tickets in Hillsborough County, but it's the first time you've ever had this charge. Yes, you're in custody for, it looks like the loitering and prowling. May I say something? So don't say anything. I'm appointing the public defender on everything, and maybe they can give you a package, offer you a package deal. There's no way we can resolve these issues today. I don't think it's in your best interest to do it today. Um, if you had your valid license today, we could change it to a civil. You obviously can't get your license because you're in custody. But if you're going to get out, then we can continue it for a month for you to pay the Hillsborough and get your license, and that would be your best thing. So you need time. So we're appointing the public defender on all of it. Thank you. Matthew Curtis, to the microphone. Thank you for dressing so respectfully for the court. Yeah. And you have your valid driver's license now. Yes. Your license was suspended for some kind of insurance issue. Correct. But it wasn't regular, like PIP insurance. Do you know what that was all about? No, I don't. I went to the tag office, and apparently when I gave him my insurance card, it had expired. And How much did you have to pay to get your driver's license back uh, to one, the driver's license office? 150 <coughs> Well, they, they had it suspended for insurance reasons. If you enter a no contest plea, I would change it to a civil. You have no priors. You want me to do that? Yes, ma'am, please. All right, no contest, civil. It's for registration insurance. All right, we'll change it to a civil and we'll get your paperwork as you, fast Honor. as we can. It, 
won't count as one of the three to habitualize. <coughs> Kyle Davis? <coughs> Um, Mr. Davis, all right, you are charged with driving while license suspended. You've never had this charge before. Your license was suspended for not paying a Lake County ticket from 2001, yes, from not paying two payment plans, one in Orange County, one in Lake County. Are you going to be able to fix all of this in a short period of time, or? Not. I mean, uh, it depends on how, how long. I mean, I just it, I just caught this charge, like, I think, two weeks ago, so I haven't had the time to get my license. Well, this is two years old. You've owed the money for two years. Well, I mean, since I got this recent ticket. If you enter a no contest plea, I would find you guilty of driving while license suspended. I would have to put you on six months probation. The special condition of probation would be get a valid driver's license. So instead of charging a fine, I just say get a valid driver's license. If you want me to put it off for a month, and you think in a month you can come in here with a valid driver's license, I'll go that way. Okay, uh, I'm on probation at the time already, so. You're already on probation? Yes, ma'am. This will violate it. Well. This happened before I was on probation. I talked to my probation officer and she said that it wouldn't. So I could plea out and she said that it wouldn't. He was on probation, I believe, eight days after he got the dwellers. Okay. So you're already on probation. So I put you on six months concurrent probation. You can get off of the probation as soon as you get a valid driver's license. Hi, if a person is on two probations, do they pay two probation fees? No, 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 two misdemeanors in your office. Yay, thank you. There's no extra probation fee, okay, so that's okay. your best bet. Okay, six months probation, early term upon proof of a valid driver's license, but if you don't get one within six months now, you're gonna go to jail. So you have six months now. Um, concurrent probation. We do have to print him. Okay. All right, we're going to print you in six months concurrent probation, early term upon getting your <clears throat> excuse me your valid driver's license. Who are you? Shelly Carter. Say it again. Shelly Carter. Carter? Yes, ma'am. I was added to the docket. Oh, you were charged with driving while license suspended. You had one in '94. I had one on December 4th. Okay. You had one in 1994, you had one in 2013 that you were sentenced on in January. You had one that got changed, we had another one in 2013 that we changed to a civil with a withhold. So this one shouldn't habitualize you. You're suspended for not paying four tickets in Orange County, two tickets in Lake County, another ticket in Orange, another in Lake, one in Madison. Your last driving while license suspended was August of 2012 and 2012. So you fixed all the reasons you were suspended before. Yes, if you were caught driving on the same, for the same suspension, that's jail time. Yes, so this is not jail time. It's a $250 fine, six months probation. You can get off of probation as soon as you pay the $250. Yes, and if you get three in a five-year period, you're habitualized. Yes, ma'am. All right, then you also have, here's her court sheet. And I do have a print sheet on her since she wasn't on the computer. We have a court sheet. Well, here's a, another court sheet for her. Um, speeding ticket. You've had a prior speeding ticket, so no help for me on this one. If you enter a no contest plea, it's $281, six months to pay. Yes, ma'am. All right, no contest, guilty, $281, and six months to pay is 
uh, January 24th, 2014. I'm going to mark you may elect school if you're eligible. Yes, ma'am. It's a good thing to get the points off if you're eligible. All right, we'll get you your paperwork as fast as we can. Uh, Tanya Goins, come on up to the microphone. You're charged with driving while license suspended. You paid everything in Osceola County just the way you were supposed to, but it was late, and when it was late, you had to go and reinstate your license. Have you done that now? Yes. Um, you have a valid driver's license now? Can I see it, please? And assuming that is valid, um, if you enter a no contest plea, we'll change this to a civil driving while license suspended and give you six months to pay. All right, thank you, Your Honor. Replace this month, perfect. Okay, change it to a civil, please, okay? All right, next is Mr. Goins, Mr. Trenton Goins. Mr. Trenton Goins, um, you are on pretrial intervention and you didn't get everything finished in time. Um, I completed everything but paying, ma'am. Paying what? The uh, the fifty five a month and so any when, other fines that I had. So when can you pay it? Employment. Um, I am partially employed at the moment. I'm still looking. When for can you pay it? One month? Two months? Uh, two months should be a good time, ma'am. Hey, if you don't pay it, then this case will not be dismissed. If you come in here with everything paid, we can dismiss it as if you paid it on time. Yes, ma'am. All right, um, this is Trenton Goins. We're continuing it for two months, no further delays. So if it isn't done, be prepared to go on to regular probation. Yes, ma'am. All right, two months to finish. Have a seat, we'll get your paperwork as fast as we can. Um, this is Mr. Hippolito. Yes, Your Honor, this is Julio Hippolito Alvarado. All right, he is charged with a battery. Okay, he has a similar charge pending in felony court. And he has the public defender for that one. So we need to appoint the public defender for this one also. He needs to go make an appointment for this case. It's a different public defender who will handle this one. So he's going to have two different court dates. He has to show up for both different court dates. All right, gracias. And no victim contact. Um, Dominic Jacob, to the microphone, please. Ah. All right, we're going to talk about your criminal case first, but then you also have a civil case, so don't let me forget it. Uh, driving while license suspended, no driver, no motorcycle endorsement. Um, do you have a motorcycle endorsement now? No, ma'am. Do you plan to get one? Uh, I was going to, but my license is going to be suspended for sure now, so there's, I won't be able to. It's going to be suspended for insurance? No, the, D, the DMV told me that I won't be able to get it back for a while. They told you you wouldn't be able to get it back for a while. Why wouldn't you be able to get your license back? You're only suspended for not having insurance. Uh, I don't know. They just told me it was, no? The computer record shows you're only suspended for not having insurance. Oh, well then. <laughs> They told me it was like they, they took it away and wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to get it back. You're only suspended, according to this, for not having insurance. Okay. Do you know something I don't know? No, they, I, I know I got, a, uh, I got a ticket away in a different state. You got a ticket in a different yeah. state. Well, it's not 
showing up. I'll double check. This is the driving while license suspended. And this is no motorcycle endorsement. It has no suspension for another state. <clears throat> Might we have run a new one? Have a seat for just a minute. We're going to run a new record and see if there's something. Don't let me forget you. I've got so many things going on. I yeah. may forget I, you. I, I got it. I got it taken away for DUI. Where? In West Virginia. Oh, we still need to see if it showed up. Do you still want me to sit down? Thank you. But that could explain what they were talking about. Um, and then you also have a tag charge here. And a no, not wearing eye protection on your motorcycle. Uh, Rebecca Jesmuk, come on up to the microphone, please. Okay, you're charged with leaving the scene of an accident and improper backing. So we'll start with a criminal one. They charged it as a hit and run. Are you wanting me to sort through this and see if I can make you an offer? Yes. Are you? Yes, ma'am. Driver was at Irene's. She was attempting to get away from someone you just have an argument with. Okay, um, so you're wanting to maintain your not guilty plea? Oh, no, you wanted me to make you an offer. Yes, ma'am. Well, then I need to know more about this argument. <clears throat> were you just upset or were you running for your life? If you're running for, could you get her a garbage can, please, for her gum? <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. I, were you running for your life? If you're running for your life, why didn't you go in and tell someone in the bar that you needed no, help? No, ma'am, I understand. I was just upset, and I backed up, and that was my fault. All right, and you hit a vehicle or a post? or? Yes, ma'am, a vehicle. <clears throat> well, that's not fair to the person whose vehicle you hit then no, for you just to leave. No, ma'am, okay. it wasn't. So you're admitting you did that? Yes, ma'am. All right, then it would be six months probation. <clears throat> Special condition of probation would be a $250 fine. May I ask you, Your Honor, if I can pay everything in full today, um, would you hold the probation? Yes, if you can pay it all today, you won't have to be on probation. You'll still have the mandatory cost, and you'll, we'll show you how much that is, and you can pay that today if you want or sign up for the payment plan. Then the improper backing um, will be something like $166, something like that. Yes, ma'am. And you'll have six months to pay that. Yes, ma'am. So that should be the last one you pay. If you only have enough money to pay one thing today, it should be the $250 for the criminal charge. Yes, ma'am. And what will I be? Okay, one more problem is that it's points. Okay. So um, the, leaving this scene is six points? Yeah. It's six points. Now, may I ask you, um, I already called about classes, driving classes. But you can go to classes on the <clears throat> improper backing to get those points off. Okay. But not the other. Can't do both. Right. You can only do what? Can't do a criminal. All right, so if you enter a no contest plea right now, I'd find you guilty of leaving the scene. It would be six months probation. You can get off of probation as soon as you pay $250. If you can pay the $250 today, you don't even need to go on probation. Then the improper backing, you've, based, you've entered a no contest plea. I find you guilty. You have six months to pay. I think it's $166. We'll figure that out. And um, may go to school if eligible. Yes, ma'am. And then you have to go to room 105 and sign up for the payment plan or pay that whole amount today. Yes, ma'am. Ms. Angie, did you get it all? Yes. All right. Um, we'll get you your paperwork as quickly as we can. Good luck. Thank you. Um, Raymond King to the microphone. Okay, Mr. King, you've been charged with a battery. Mr. King, do you have a hearing problem? 
I'm sorry I didn't hear you. Mr. King, you've been charged with a battery that on uh, July the 4th, um, you battered um, your wife. Yes, ma'am. I'm guilty. All right. Do you want to tell me how that happened? I was drinking in, uh, you know, I, I, Okay, so it's all about drinking. Yes, ma'am. All right. If you enter a no contest plea, let me see what else I have. All right, I would put you on probation. One of the conditions would be no alcohol. Yes, ma'am. If you enter a no contest plea, I'd put you on 12 months probation. You can get off of probation as soon as you have, do you have a court sheet? An alcohol evaluation and any treatment recommended. 12 hours of anger management. Um, do you have a phone number for your wife? Yes, uh, 4352. Th Hello, is this Mrs. King? This is Judge Miller. I'm calling from the courtroom. I have your husband here. And I want to make sure we're on the same page here. He says he did it. He's sorry. Um, he has an alcohol issue. And so tentatively, I would put him on 12 months probation, and he could get off of probation as soon as he completes an alcohol evaluation and any treatment recommended. He's con to consume no alcohol. And yes. So you would like me to allow him to return home with the no alcohol condition, and we will continue the case till the next court date to see how it goes. So I would let him return home, um, proof of counseling and no alcohol. Okay, I'll do it. So he can come home today. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Um, Mr. King, I appreciate your remorse that you're sorry that this happened. Your wife told me about what you've been going through with uh, cancer treatment and everything else. She says you don't ordinarily drink. This was a rare thing, and with all the medication that you're on, whatever, you, it was a reaction. Thank you. So she does not, she's not fearful of you. She was that time when you were drinking. So if um, this is acceptable to you, I would allow you to go home um, with a special order of no alcohol and proof of counseling. We're going to enter a not guilty on your behalf for right now and give you another court date. So when you come back next time, if you've gone to your counselor, she says you go once a month to your counselor, and you haven't consumed ever any alcohol and there are no problems, then we'll let the state attorney's office decide if they're willing to drop the case. Yes, ma'am. All right, appreciate that you're willing to do it, but um, your wife thinks it was the alcohol and the medication. And so it's a, this is Mr. King, it's a not guilty, and we're adding a special condition. He may, uh, to no violent victim contact, and could you write may return home at the bottom. I want proof of counseling at the next court date and consume no alcohol. All right, you may return home, wait for your paperwork, and we'll see you at your next court Thank date. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Dominic Jacob. Mr. Jacob, we just ran a new record today, and um, we're reciprocal with Virginia. You said Virginia, West Virginia. West Virginia. West Virginia. We're reciprocal with West, West Virginia, I think. So it should be on your record. It's not. So um, I will so call I the driver's like What? So I can get my license back? I will call to save you a trip and find out. Hi, this is Judge Miller. We're um, in open court, but... I don't have you on the speakerphone, so only my end is being recorded. I have a record in front of me of a person whose license, Florida license is suspended for not having insurance. But he has gotten a DUI in another state, West Virginia. But it doesn't show up on the printout. How long ago did you get that DUI? 
Uh, I think like a year. About a year ago. So can he get insurance and renew his Florida license? Reinstate his Florida license? Uh, Dominic Jacob. He's suspended in West Virginia. And so he can't reinstate his Florida license? More than a year? All right, that's very odd. I said. Bye-bye. <laughs> you can get your Florida license back, she's saying. If you went today, they would get, give it to you. But then if you're caught driving, you go to jail. So that doesn't make any sense. Um, because if they run your record, they'll pull up your suspension out of West Virginia. But it's not on the Florida record. That's, I tried calling the, uh, about two okay. weeks ago. And it, you need to fix West Virginia. I just I don't know how to there do all that There are some stuff. attorneys in Florida who are licensed to practice in West Virginia and Florida. So you may want to look up an attorney who can do both, and then he can help you with both cases. Yes, ma'am. This is Judge Miller. Could I please speak with Ms. Olson? Thank you. All right. The fact is you were suspended in Florida. Okay. Um, so you shouldn't have been driving in Florida because you don't have insurance. Okay. But if you were suspended for a DUI, it's jail time. Okay. So if you play today, I'm going to just treat it as suspended for no insurance. Okay. Hi, this is Judge Miller. Sorry to bother you. I just wanted to run a case by you that I have had arraignments. Um, he is suspended in Florida for not having insurance, but he's suspended out of West Virginia for a DUI a year ago, but it does not show up on his Florida record. So I called the driver's license office. They said they'd renew his license, give him a new Florida license, um, but if he got caught driving, he would be charged with driving while license suspended, which is very confusing. So I'm going to sentence him on the driving while license suspended in Florida for just the insurance part, not the DUI part. But I just want to run it by you because that's kind of weird. <laughs> and his name is Dominic Jacob. So if he pleads today, I'm going to sentence him, but not jail time because his Florida record is only suspended for not having insurance. All right, very odd. All right, thank you. Bye. All right, so if you plead today, uh, it will be a fine, and you'll be on six months probation. You can get off of probation as soon as you pay the fine. Yes, ma'am. All right, um, you're present. You waive having an attorney. You enter a no contest plea to count one and two. Um, it's six months probation. Early term after you pay a $200 fine on the driving while license suspended. And um, count one will be a zero fine. So, so if I pay $200, if you can pay the $200 today, you can be off of probation today. Okay. If you can't, it's six months probation. You can get off as soon as you can pay. Probation costs about $55. All right, we have a deal. Yes, All right, I do have his print sheet because I have a file. All right, you also have the obscured tag. What was that all about? Uh, my my motorcycle I bought because it was like like really cheap, so I went and bought it anyways, and it was parked, and I got kicked out of my apartment. I so. don't want any of that. Oh. Is the tag a good tag? No. It was not a good tag. No. Okay. If you enter a no contest plea, I'd find you guilty, and it's $116, and you have until January 24th, 2014 to pay. All right. Thank you. All right.